Finally, this last strategy is a completely foam-free option for insulating and air sealing rim joists for those who want to avoid spray foam and rigid foam products. Instead, we're using a combination of that self-adhered weather-resistive barrier on the exterior and that fluid applied flashing or flashing tape at the sill to provide that exterior air seal. And then on the interior, we're calling out a taped smart vapor retarder membrane to prevent vapor diffusion into the wall cavity, as well as air leakage from passing through that could result in condensation on the foundation walls or on the rim joist. And this allows us to use a wider range of insulation products in isolation, like mineral wool, fiberglass, wood fiber, or cellulose. And so we're taping and sealing that smart vapor retarder membrane to each floor joist with air sealing tape. So if we were to look at this in a 3D perspective, this is what it looks like. The membrane is cut and stapled to the joists, and then that air sealing tape is installed all the way around and up onto the underside of the subfloor. Now, this strategy is a little bit more labor intensive since it requires that each joist is meticulously taped to prevent air leakage. Now, unlike a standard polyethylene vapor barrier, a smart vapor retarder membrane allows the walls to dry to the interior if moisture gets inside, instead of trapping the moisture. That's the whole point of a smart vapor retarder. It prevents vapor diffusion inwards, but allows moisture to dry out when relative humidity within the wall cavity exceeds about 60%. So if there is any residual construction moisture in the cavity, or for some reason we get air leakage that results in condensation, it can still dry out to the interior. We can then insulate the rim joist with just a standard mineral wool bat or any other bat insulation. So there's a lot more flexibility when it comes to insulating. You can also see back here that we're insulating with rigid mineral wool to provide a thermal break between the cold foundation walls and the framed walls beyond. It doesn't matter if this rigid insulation is airtight or not since we're providing air tightness at the smart vapor control layer. So our thermal control continuity is provided at the foundation walls, up to the rim joist, and up through the exterior walls above. Then over the smart vapor retarder, we can install horizontal 2x3 furring for an airtight service cavity for our electrical conduit, and then we can fasten our standard gypsum board to that. Now, there are other ways to accomplish this. If we had a layer or layers of rigid insulation installed on the exterior of the assembly that were at a sufficient thickness to warm the condensing surface of the sheathing, we could actually wrap the membrane over the mud sill and up around the rim joist and over the subfloor prior to the insulation of the exterior sheathing. This does require some extra work during construction sequencing to get right, but this allows us to avoid having to tape each individual floor joist. So that's another way to accomplish the same outcome if you want to ditch the foam. For more information on air sealing and insulating building assemblies, head over to Assiri-Designs.com where we have over 150 free building science articles on a wide range of topics from foundations to wall assemblies to flat roofs. Links will be in the description below. For now, good luck with your projects. Cheers.